Big Boys yeah. Neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to sit down with this man after the show in the neighborhood, man. And that is C.T. Fletcher. C.T. Fletcher, how are you doing today, brother? I am blessed. Bitch. Yeah, man, in a major way. Huh? When, when people say, I'm blessed, some people just use it as a phrase. Right. You know, they just put the words together and say, oh, I'm blessed. But when you say, I am blessed, what does that I am blessed mean to C.T. Fletcher? Uh, well, it means a whole lot to somebody who's been dead three times. Yeah. So talk about that, bro. Yeah, yeah. He, you've been pronounced dead. or You've been dead. You've died three times. Three times on the operating table, open heart surgery. Get right on that mic, CT. And I'm sitting here talking to Big Boy. Oh. Now, but so we both alive, right? Blessed. We both alive. That's right. Okay, okay, cool, cool. I didn't, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know what, what was going yeah, down. For a minute, yeah, huh? I was like, wait, hold on, man. My, my man said he died three times. Now we're talking. Like, am I really here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you died, you died on the table three times, CT. That's right. And is that three times like back to back, like in one episode? During or? the whole during the surgery. During the surgery. Yes, uh-huh. And and you had open heart surgery, right? All right, and I had a chance to also watch the doc, and everybody, I pretty much know, and a lot of people know what's up with Iron Addicts, man. But, but what is in in CT Fletcher as we sit here today, heart wise? As we sit, or you mean what's happening with my physical heart? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. or just yeah. But well, like, I'm on the transplant list. I'm I'm, I'm due to get a new heart. Yeah, right. I, I didn't beat this old one up so bad. They got to give me a now. Heart. Do you? Is it an actual heart in there? Like what? What's what's keeping CT yeah, yeah, together no, now? It's, it's, Still my actual so, heart. Alrighty. <laughs> For a little while longer anyway. It's just got a lot of work done. And how and how have you been feeling? Cause I know at one point, CT, we were talking about like, man, like, you know, we checking in, like, is he doing okay? Is he doing better? Right. right. How how are you feeling kind of overall? Uh I- I feel pretty good right now, Big Boy. It was uh, it was iffy there for a while. Mm-hmm. Like we were supposed to do this interview six months. Yeah, ago, man. And uh, you know, I had a massive heart attack and, and almost checked out again. How many heart attacks have you had, CT? I only had that one heart. That's attack. That's enough. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 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 Some, some people collect stamps. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, you don't want to be like, man. You don't want to collect that another one. You know, that is enough. Yes. Now, I, I want to get into the background of of CT Fletcher. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just 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 growing up. What what put CT in the gym? Now, you, CT, you grew up in was it Watts and Compton or how how was okay, that? Okay, we uh, originally we moved to Watts mm-hmm. uh, and thinking that, you know, we, we came from Arkansas. Right. I come from Little Rock, Arkansas, and we moved to Watts thinking we was moving up. Yeah, moving on up. And shit, shortly after... Ooh, no, go ahead, brother, speak. Shortly after we got <laughs> Who there, gonna stop you from cursing? You say shit, bitch, and motherfucker all the time. All right, come on, CT, you know what I'm saying? I delegate Louie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You said you would. Yeah. Yeah, when he wasn't here, I you're like, I'll take him. You was like, man, if CT cursing, I'm gonna fuck him up. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you said. Remember you said that? <laughs> like, man. He probably looked like he did. So <laughs> yeah, he, he did, CT. You know what I'm saying? So so you come out here from Arkansas. Yeah, we went to Watts and we thought we were moving on up like the Jeffersons and shit. Yeah. And uh, the Watts riot broke out. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm Damn, like. Damn, you was like, welcome it. to California. Yeah, let's go back to Arkansas. Yeah. Arkansas. Like, <laughs> so uh, then we moved to Compton. Mm-hmm. And I spent all, you know, I grew up in Compton. Yes, sir. Now, when did you, when when people know CT just from, I mean, just when did you get into weights and bodybuilding and, and doing those things? Well, uh, I had a cousin named Junior Miles. Mm-hmm. And uh, Junior Miles was my initial inspiration for getting into weightlifting. Mm-hmm. I seen, I thought Junior Miles was the baddest Man, I was gonna say motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Was was you said it. You said it anyway. <laughs> low, low key, CT. Yeah. Because uh, Junior, I seen Junior handcuff Big Boy. He went to his mom's funeral and they let him out. You know, just yeah. The funeral, and he was handcuffed, and everybody was laughing and stuff at the, you know after the funeral and joking and going on. And Junior Miles stood up with handcuffs on. And he said, "Everybody, shut the fuck up." And you could hear a pin drop. Yeah, you see, I got quiet just when you said it. Hey, big boy, I want to be just like Junior Miles. So that that did for me. He was he he was prison, so he's big and yoked and shit. And when he said shut the fuck up, right. I mean everybody shut. Like man, so when do you how, when do you get into the gym? And I want to talk about man CT just like the the record holding the the awards like when you get into the gym when does that become a lifestyle where you know like like there is, and it sounds crazy but the addiction to getting in there and pushing that iron exactly that's why I call it iron addict yeah man this is like a drug addiction mm-hmm. you know I had to have iron on my birthday 
Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day, I didn't fuck what it was. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be in the gym first. So it was an addiction for me. That's So that's why I came up with the term Iron Addict. Now, what about competitions, bro? Like, like let's let's talk about what what that mantle look like. Oh, it's full. It's yeah. full, big boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I uh, you know, back when I was competing, it wasn't a whole lot of black guys mm-hmm. in competition. Was that harder? Uh, no, not okay. For me. Okay, hello. I didn't give a fuck who showed. <laughs> right, <laughs> like I put the work in. I know it looked better than this motherfucker. Make me no difference. I heard that it was all about who's the strongest, and I believed that nobody was stronger than me, so I didn't give a fuck who came. Really? If you were to say how many, if if there was a number, how many awards or trophies or you know what I'm saying? Like, because even my son, my son played basketball, and I'm losing count. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> He's ten. Yeah. What do you think if you were to walk in and we put them all in a, in an open space? Hundred. Damn. Yeah. And you know. and you know what's crazy, CT, is you're known all over the world, bro. That is crazy, bro. Yeah. I never expected that. Never in a million years. I didn't. Nobody knew who I was unless they were in the field that I do mm-hmm. until I turned fifty three years old. Wow. And what was that change? Uh, you too. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you too. Good time. It's crazy, man. When did you understand, like, man, there's this platform that I need to get on, and who introduced you to it? Uh, I didn't understand YouTube at all mm-hmm. when I got on YouTube. Uh, there was a young guy that came in. He said, hey, CT, uh, I want to put you on YouTube. And I'm like, what the fuck is it? Yeah. <laughs> heard Just YouTube. stay out of my way. I'm 53, man. So, you know, in my day, we didn't have no YouTube or none of this shit we got now. So I didn't know what it was. All I asked him was, can I be myself and can I say whatever the fuck I want to? Yeah, I heard that. And he said, yes. And I said, we on then. Wow. <laughs> now, when did you know, like, wait, something's going on with this? Is, was there somebody that came up to you that wasn't in the gym with you? Yeah. 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 I, I didn't know the guy. First time I ever been with But it was, uh, uh, you know, I knew that it was something when I started going to the market and that people were like, hey, you C.T. Fletcher. And I'm like, damn. Like, man, what is this? <laughs> yeah, like, what is this YouTube thing? Yeah, what's what's going on? They say your video is viral. I don't know what the fuck is viral. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a whole lot of motherfuckers looking at it. <laughs> man, so when you go from knowing what, what YouTube is, man, does that make you put you in a position where now it's like, man, I'm starting to build even more of an empire? Because I, I also watch the documentary. And the documentary, bro, I'm sitting there and I'm rooting for this gym to open up. You know what I'm saying? Like, actually rooting. How hard was that for you to actually take Iron Addicts, the gym, from from just a thought into an actual facility? It was hard as hell because I, I really think that they didn't want me to uh, open a gym mm-hmm. in that city, in mm-hmm. the city that I chose. And uh, so it was, they, they, they blocked us, tried to block us at every turn. How know? long did it take? Oh, man, a year and a half, I think. They mm. finally, uh, you know, from the time we went over there until we went to open the gym until we finally opened the doors about a year and a half. And that was in, that's still in Signal Hill? Signal Hill. Man. I heard that. Now, how often Now, how often are you there now? Oh. Can you do? Do you still make an NCT? About, about as often as you are, big boy. Oh, really? I heard yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, after I had the massive heart attack, I I go uh, every now and then just to say hello to everybody. Mm-hmm. And if somebody comes from out of town, give them a hug and tell them thank them so much for coming. But I I don't really you know I can't work out. So right. I, I'm not there at all. How, how hard is it for you, CT, to not be so hands on with with the weights? It, it's, it's for. Because I know that had to be life. You know what I'm saying? And for somebody to tell you, you can't do this. And that's the only reason why you're not is because your heart. Right. What does that, what does that feel like when it's like, man, I, I can't, I can't do it. It's rough. It's very rough. To, it was rough to get used to, mm-hmm. but I have a, a different obsession, a different mission now than I did, you know, when I was younger. So it makes it easier. I mean, you know, when I was younger, I, I tell you, my guy, hey, which one of you motherfuckers is coming in second? Mm-hmm. Because you know, CT Fletcher here, so your ass got to settle for second, third. Or yeah, man, that's your trophy. Yeah, I'm winning. <laughs> yeah, <this shit>. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't no doubt about that. What so, is uh, what is a uh, a bad day feel like now, CT? Oh man, a bad day. I can't get out of bed. Really. Yeah. Man, that day I'm in the bed. Do is there a particular 
reason? It, it was was it too much weightlifting? Is it hereditary? You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, my mom and nine her nine siblings all died from heart related problems. <sighs> my brother died uh, at the same age that I am now. How old are you now, from, CT? Uh, I'm 58. Gotcha. From uh, congested heart failure. Wow. So, yeah. It's, I think it's ready to <laughs> with that. The kind yeah, of that pretty that that does sound like it. Yeah. Now, growing up, CT was was it steroid use as well? Because because now it's people looking like oh it's taboo. But you're from a school. Oh, geez, like, it ain't taboo either, but you know. <laughs> but but you're from a school where that it was there, correct? Uh, when I first started lifting weights, big boy, I thought everybody was natural. Mm -hmm. I didn't think anybody <laughs> used steroids, and. Uh, uh, I thought my, you know, I, I believe my cousin Junior Miles was, but uh, then I went to a, into competition, and the man said uh, uh, I had twenty inch arms before I even knew what a steroid was. Mm. And the man said, "Hey, look, you want to be like Arnold and Franco and Lou Ferrigno and all them guys in the magazine?" I'm like, "Fuck this! Yeah. Hell yeah! Oh, like, man, tell me, make a living lifting weights? Oh hell yeah! Fuck this post office!" <laughs> 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 So uh, they they told me that if you want to do that, you're gonna have to take steroids. Wow, you're gonna have there's no way around it. So it, it, you know I was young and mm -hmm. dumb, and so for six months I gave it a try. I said fuck this, but I realized that that's that's not the way I was going. I was ashamed. Really? Yeah. I, so so you 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 only use for like six months. Yeah. Mm -hmm, definitely. Wow. Yep, definitely. Could you tell a difference between strength and attitude and temperament and Oh, big boy. It For me, now, a lot of people say don't do that to them. Mm. But for me, it gave me, I already had a kind of fucked up attitude anyway. Go ahead now. From the way I was raised. So it just turned me into a terrible motherfucker. Not, you, you didn't want to be around. You Damn. Know? I said to get out of my car to stop like and slap the shit out of my <laughs> That got to be a hard ass slap too, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not, not now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about in the gym, on steroids. You know what I'm saying? You slapping motherfuckers around like the exorcist. You know? <laughs> Head just turning around. Like, yeah, get a 360 degree. Like, who's behind me? Oh, I'd slap a motherfucker down. Really, though? To the ground. Man. Yeah, I have done it. <laughs> when you were saying, I kind of figured you yeah, have. have when, when you were just. When you were just saying it. So what's going on with Iron Addicts now? How often are we open? Where can people, is is it a membership? Can people come down? Like yeah, anybody, how do people join? Any, any and everybody is welcome. And one of the, the themes of Iron Addicts in is, is that we are all the same under the bar. And, and that's, uh, you know, it's my way of saying no discrimination. I, I don't care what race, religion, color you are, you're going to be treated the same in Iron Addicts. So we have uh, five in Australia now. Wow. And one in uh, Signal Hill, of course, the original, and one in Las Vegas. I heard and that. And we are trying to expand the empire. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Continue to do that, man. It is a pleasure to get you into the neighborhood, bro, and hang out with you. And for those out there, man, Iron Addicts Gym is at uh, 222. Uh, 2224A, and that's uh, Cerritos Avenue, Signal Hill, California, 90755. And also all things C.T. Fletcher, you can log on to his web website, ctfletcher.com, ctfletcher.com. So you just continue to, to, to live life, man, and expand the brand. That's what I'm trying to do. I, I want to uh, leave something for my kids, you know, when I'm gone. I heard that, brother. Yeah. Well, it was a pleasure to slap hands with you and a pleasure to have you in the neighborhood, man. My pleasure. I'm going to have to get down there. You know, I'm not going to really, you know what I mean? I'm not going to lift my weights. I'm just going to, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to get down there. Now, I'm going to make sure I get under a bar just for the gram, <laughs> take that picture, and then I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Can you do me one favor, big boy? Yes, brother. I'm Wait, gonna, hold on. What is it? I'm gonna give no. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna give you my phone number, mm -hmm. and I want Luther Lufay to call me. Oh. Luther can't call you on a phone that. chat because you already know it's me. <laughs> yeah, I, look, look, I used to pray uh -huh, that, that Luther Lufay <laughs> would call me. And tell me that I owe him some money. But you know what? <laughs> you slapping the teeth out of motherfuckers' mouths. Yeah, That's all I need. Like, hey, nah, no, CT, it was me. I was just playing. You're like, what, motherfucker? <laughs> Bitch ass motherfucker. You know, I don't know. Big boy, I, I don't need you that. A few motherfuckers in your time, too. 
if I ain't mistaken, I believe you have. I, I believe back. Quite a day. few. Quite yeah. a few. Huh? Quite you. a few. Yeah, quite a few. There's somebody listening right and looking right now and they're like, man, yeah, you yeah, slapped me. Yeah, I when he slapped yeah, me. You know what I'm saying? Slapped the taste out of yeah, my Yeah, mind. you know what I'm saying? Like, I still can't taste mayonnaise. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I still can't taste mayonnaise yeah. since Big hit me. But we are here now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck yeah. excuses. That's what does right. that mean, man? Fuck excuses. Well, uh, Because I got, I'm going to tell you straight up, C.T. Fletcher. I got a gang of them. Yeah, yeah, well, I really, got a gang of boy, excuses. Let me tell you, I died three times, and I still took my ass in the gym and worked out seven days a week. So if, unless you've been, if, unless you can top death, right? As far as I'm concerned, fuck your excuse. Damn. I can't remember that. Yeah, man. Sometimes I'm like, who? I'm dying. My shit. <laughs> yeah, mine probably sound petty. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man, hold on, man, I ain't wearing the right shoes today. Right. I, I have all kind of excuses <laughs> though. You know what I'm saying? Percent left on my phone on the playlist. Yeah, <laughs> oh, man. Big boy, Is the market look, still on? You look fantastic, man, man. I do need to get in that gym though. I've been working with strong man. We trying to do this big and strong thing, man. Like, I I need muscle mass, like, cause I lost weight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and right. but yeah, but yeah. you definitely gotta get on that muscle mass as well. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Now, do you guys have key weights at, at Iron Addicts? Like, you know, or or is it all just like like free lifting? Like it's pretty, I mean, pretty much uh free lifting. I don't need what you say key weights. Yeah, you know that you know how sometimes I just, don't even know what the fuck that is. Man. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe I'm saying it wrong because I'm not in the profession. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm talking yeah, about when you I just go to that set and put that key in that motherfucker and, oh, <laughs> and push no, up. No, we ain't got no my, my benches and all that shit is all beat up and shit like that. Yeah, I love that. It's beat up and raw. Yeah, I and love rather, that. I mean, I remember Irene came in one day. I was like, man, what's that on your shoulder? She was yeah. like, oh, the duct tape cut me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, That's it. go ahead with your bad That's self. You CT, see? appreciate you, brother. Hey, Thank you so much. And wishing much, you boy. nothing but the best, ladies and Thank gentlemen. C.T. Fletcher in the neighborhood Thank after the show. All things Big Boy's Neighborhood. Big boy. You can catch us right there at RadioBigBoy.com. Big Boy's Neighborhood. We are gone.